Hi and welcome to episode number 559 with whatsforchild.com and the penultimate episode of our short series Serious Distilling with Brewcraft, Still Spirits and Grainfather. In our previous distilling episode we used the Grainfather to mash a batch of grain to make whiskey. The resulting mash has completed fermenting and it is time to clear the fermentation and distill it using the Grainfather armed with the Alembic dome lid. This is the very same Alembic dome we used on the Still Spirits distiller and it is available as an optional extra from Brewcraft when you purchase your Grainfather. To clear the mash we are going to use the Still Spirits Turbo Clear 2 part kit. Start by giving the wash a really vigorous stir to degas the liquid. This stage is quite important as the carbon dioxide is one of the elements that is keeping the microparticles in suspension. Once you have degassed the liquid, add part A of the kit and stir this in thoroughly. Replace the lid of the bucket and allow this to stand for 60 minutes. After the standing time, sprinkle part B over the surface of the bucket. Use your stirrer to top stir the surface. Replace the lid and leave the bucket undisturbed for 24 hours. The following day, rack the cleared liquid off into the grandfather boiler. Add 5 ml of Still Spirits Distilling Conditioner. This prevents foaming and improves the quality of the run. Pour the Boiling Enhancer Saddles into the boiler. These will give you a nice even boil instead of violent bubbling. Undo the large nut from the condenser and attach the condenser to the dome lid. Make sure the silicon seal is in place by crimping it firmly into the surround of the lid. Place the lid on the boiler and fasten the spring clips to hold it in place. Attach the inlet pipe to the lower connector and the water supply and the outlet pipe to the upper connector. Drop the probe thermometer into the thermometer housing at the top of the condenser. Attach the distillate outlet pipe to the end of the condenser. Turn on the main switch to the boil position at the base of the boiler, followed by the switch on the control box also to the boil position. Press the set button and adjust the temperature target to 95 celsius using the plus button. To confirm the setting press the set button again. As the temperature reaches around 45 celsius the first drips will start emerging from the distillate outlet. Turn on the water flow. As the temperature reaches 60 celsius the flow will increase. Collect the first 100 milliliters of distillate. This is made up of methanol and acetone and is discarded. Collect the distillate in batches, measuring the ABV of each batch as you go. This will start out in the high 80s and gradually decrease as the run progresses. When the ABV drops below 40%, it's time to call it a day. The distillate up to this point will be the base for your product. Blend the batches as discussed in our blending episode and if necessary dilute the resulting blend to 60% ABV. This is the optimum strength for oak aging. Place the distillate in suitable bottles and add a teaspoon of French wine barrel oak chips per litre of distillate. I am using 500 milliliter bottles and adding about half a teaspoon to each one. There is no formula for how long it will take to age. When you are happy with the colour, aroma and flavour of the whisky, it is ready to strain and bottle. 
Next week in our final distilling episode, we will discuss the equipment, a whole bunch of distilling tips and tricks, and my personal views on still spirits and grain father. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and share this with your family and friends. And we'll see you again tomorrow.